Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is day two of Maandamano in our Republic, Kenya. And I think the day has actually started well. And I can confirm that the whole country has started in a very calm mood and most parts of the Republic of Kenya, people have started going back to their daily jobs. People are anxious to go to work. People want to do their businesses in their various places. And I have actually talked with some few people, but 80% of the people I have actually talked to, most of them, they, 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 they what they have told me is that they want a peaceful nation because they want to do business. They want to go on with their daily activities because some of people who actually I talked to, they told me that yesterday was not a very good day to them because they lost a lot in their business. And their plea, their request to the government of the Republic of Kenya is that it must do better so that the peace and tranquility can prevail in this nation so that every person can go back and to do his daily activities as usual. Remember, Kenyans, we have been or we have come from a hardship kind of time during the time of corona when we were kept in house and God has given us these brilliant days when corona is gone when corona is not really putting us down so people want to use this opportunity this God given opportunity to do their various activities. Farmers want to go back to their chambers. Businessmen and businesswomen, they want to go back to their business because they feel that they have a responsibility to develop this Kenya. So they, people who I talked to this morning, they have, have actually come out and they want their leaders. That means Raila Amolo Odinga, Guiriam Samuel Ruto, Gashawa, who is the deputy president, Msalia Mudavadi, Mata Karua, Eugene Wamarwa, that these people should come together. They should set aside their greedy agenda. They must put Kenya first because Kenyans are tired. Kenyans, they feel the pain that their children are not going to school. Remember, some of these politicians, their children are not in Kenya. They are in better schools. And Kenyans are suffering. Their children are left to be at home doing nothing, engaging in activities which are not present. So the people are actually requesting these top politicians that they must put their 
personal interest aside and they must know that we have Kenya to take care. We have Kenya to make it move forward. And Kenya cannot move forward when we have three days of demonstrations. When we have three days on the streets of Kenya being berated by paramilitaries, being berated by the police, this is a bad picture to the outside world. Internationally, people will think Kenya is fighting with itself. It is a wrong publication. We need to learn from other African countries that they did something like a joke and they are suffering. They have suffered for very many years looking for peace, but peace is nowhere to be found. To the government of William Samuel Ruto, please listen to the Kenyans. Know that Kenyans are behind you. Kenyans want you to make this nation to succeed. Kenya, hear you what you want to deal or to do with the people of Kenya. But what they are asking in an humble way is that please as you have ambitious plans, also give them a ear. Listen to them. Raila Molodinga, the political enigma of this republic, a man who have championed democracy, a man who made Kenya with other politicians to be in a multi-party state. It is time also for you to change the way we do our politics. It is time now we have to embrace what we call dialogue. Because with dialogue, nobody will go astray. With dialogue, Kenya, will be a better place to live now and in future. Raila Molodinga, it is time to embrace dialogue for this nation to be a better Kenya. That is actually what Kenyans are asking for this morning. Kenyans don't want to see police everywhere they get scared. Kenyans don't want to have that feeling that we are in a demonstration period. So Raila Molodinga, whenever you are, come out and stop this nonsense of Mahandamano. William Samuel Ruto, come out and place dialogue. Come out and hear the cry of the Kenyans. And with that, I say thank you a lot. If this is your first time to pump into this YouTube channel, this is a political YouTube channel where we give politics the voice of reason, where we bring to you the breaking news, where we bring to you news brief, where we bring to you political conversation. We analyze politics the way it is, without fear, favor, and without any side looking. So we give politics the way it is. And therefore, if you are a lover of politics, please take a minute or two, 
subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give this video a like. Share the video to your friends and request them to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And whenever you subscribe, always remember to smash the bell button. Let us all maintain peace. Let us all make Kenya a good place to live. Adios.